Okay, let's talk about the second way we can send alerts to the broker using the strategy order fills. This way is a little more complicated, but it allows us more flexibility when sending our alerts. We're only gonna use one alert message and it's going to translate our alerts for us automatically. I'll show you what that looks like and you can decide which method you want to use. They're both fine. It just depends on your preference. I'm gonna close all my positions here so we can open new positions later on. And I'm gonna stop this alert so it doesn't trigger anything while we're going. So I'm in this code again, and I'm just gonna grab this part. I'm gonna copy it down here, and we're just gonna work with that. So this is the second method, and it's based off of the strategy order fills. So whenever we get an entry, it's going to send that entry alert Whenever we get an exit, it's gonna send that exit order fill alert. So for each of these strategies, there is a alert message parameter that we can use right here. This is going to be a string and we're gonna use this text inside of our alert condition box. I'll show you what that looks like. So first let's create the alerts. So for the entries, we're gonna create a message. We're gonna call it message one and set it equal to a certain text and that certain text is really gonna depend on what the entry should look like. So let's go to strategies and let's go to entry. Now, if you come into entry and you go to more info, you get these examples here. So if we want a market entry, this is what it's gonna look like. If you want a limit order, this is what it's gonna look like, stop limit and so forth. So let's say we wanna do a market entry. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back here and paste this into this. I need to put this all on one line and I make sure that this message is going to send the right symbol, the right action and the right order type. So we know that this is gonna be a market order type. In this case, it's gonna be a buy stop set at the high. So we need to actually change this. Let's go back and grab this, stop order. So we need order type stop and stop price. Let's just grab that and put that in there. Okay, the spacing doesn't matter. All right, and now we need to set the stop price and the ticker. So in order to do that, we can do string, format, wrap this whole thing, and then over here will be the parameters we're gonna use. So we need siminfo.ticker. This is gonna grab the ticker of the chart we're on. And then for the stop, we're just using the high right here. And all I need to do is grab this and then replace that with a zero. So it's going to grab this one. And then for the stop price, I need to replace that with a one. So it grabs this one, okay? And then finally, I'm gonna grab this message and I'm gonna put it in the alert message like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one, alert message, make this one message two, and then I'll just copy this. The stop on this one is a low, the ticker is the same thing. Need to make sure I change the action to sell, okay? And then for the, let's change this to message two. And then for the exits, we don't need to send the stop limit price, the profit, and the stop, though we can send it all in the same message. As long as this sends the order at the right time, we can just send a market order to keep things simple for us. So we'll do message three, and a market order exit, I found in the documentation here, you send the ticker, and then you send the action as exit. So we're gonna do just that. Let's go back here. So message three is going to be alert message, and we'll put message three, and let's just change this. So we have ticker and then action is going to be exit. This stuff doesn't matter. So let's get rid of that. Okay. And then we need to get rid of this parameter. And then the same thing will be for message four. We could really just use message three too, because it's the same thing. So alert message and then message four. So now it's going to run this strategy. And as long as this strategy is running on the alert here, it should send these messages over according to the order fills. So let's set the alert. Go to condition, this one, and then this is the only important part. We need to put in this syntax right here. Strategy, order, order, and if you're unsure, you can click this little question mark, scroll down, and it'll show you each parameter you can use, and right there, strategy, order, alert message. Returns the value of the alert message parameter, which can be used in the, the strategies pine code when calling one of the functions. So I think I wrote it out. Nope, strategy order dot alert message. Okay, create that and that should be good. But again, we have to wait now to make sure that we formatted the JSON correctly here. That's the big kicker when we're doing this. So we got an error, strategy calculation error. 
we can look at it right here. Error on bar zero, cannot parse argument number ticker zero. This is because when we're using string format, this is actually not going to work because it's in between these quotation marks. So we can't use uh, string format like we want it to, unfortunately. So we'll have to recreate these messages and it's gonna look a little more complex now. In order to do this, we're just gonna have to con the words the old fashioned way. We'll do ticker, quotation, plus ticker ID plus, and make sure it's wrapped around in quotation marks. We get that comma in there plus. So now it's doing sim info dot ticker ID, and then it's plus this action by, we're getting an error because of that, but we still need to make sure that this is sending the high. So we'll delete that. And then we'll do to close this again, concatenate, open it up, make sure we put in the high here, but it needs to be a string. So we'll do string to string, here we go, to string, and then we'll do the high plus, and then close it with that. And that should give us the correct message. And we'll obviously have to do that for the rest of these for it to work correctly. Okay, I'm gonna delete this alert and create a new alert, this one and strategy order alert message just like that create and now we wait okay so that took a little longer than i expected this is what we were getting we got some exits coming through some buys coming through some sales if we look at the requests on the traders post all of them failed it says ticker does not exist so if you click on the logs we can see that the ticker here says Binance sold USDT, but sending the exchange along with the asset. That's why it's not working. And we can fix that very easily. Just come into the Pine editor here and change siminfo.tickerid to ticker, okay? And this will just send the actual ticker without the prefix of the exchange. And if we do that, we create a new alert, come in here and do strategy dot should now have no problem receiving the correct orders if an order goes through and we can see the last two alerts we got ticker sole usd exit and a buy we go over here and look at the last two alerts that were sent we can see there's an exit here and a buy and we're now in a long position for sole with a buy stop at 158.61. All right, so that's how you send strategy order fill alerts. If you have any more questions and if you'd like to see something different, just shoot me a message and I'll try and help you out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.